Alright, today we are going to take a look at Adobe Creative Cloud. From logging into Adobe Creative Cloud, what is Adobe Creative Cloud, how to install out of Adobe Creative Cloud, and then highlight a couple of the apps that recommend um, using within your classroom. So Adobe Creative Cloud uh, is a compilation of all of Adobe products in their cloud-based format. Um, you can find it on your desktop as a shortcut for Adobe Creative Cloud or on your taskbar, um, this little icon here. So if we click on that and to sign into Adobe Creative Cloud, because we are a school district, we're using an enterprise ID. So we're gonna sign in down here, it says use enterprise. And we're gonna put our school email address in. And if I just hit tab, it won't even go to my password. It's gonna bypass that. Brings up this screen. We're gonna click on enterprise ID. This will sign us in using our uh, Office 365 account. Again, school email. And now we are signed into Adobe Creative Cloud. <clears throat> it defaults to uh, this Adobe Stock where you get 10 free Adobe Stock images. Adobe Stock is their warehouse of images. If you work within most of the Adobe products, you will have access to um, the Adobe Stock photo images anyways. We will focus on the apps. So here Adobe has everything put out as apps. You can look at all of the apps or the apps that you currently have installed. Most of you, when we installed it on your devices for you, it was installed with Photoshop. So everybody has Photoshop. And this Creative Cloud is not only on staff devices it's also on student devices so students have access to all of these programs as well the concept of, of this allows you to pick and choose which adobe products you have on your devices we chose photoshop as our install one because most people at some point in time have been asking about using photoshop so this is installed staff k-12 students 312 when you find an app that you want to install so Photoshop's already installed, so that'll show open next to it. Illustrator, which is their drawing graphic illustration tool. Uh, you have an option of just straight up installing it, learning more about it, managing that install. But it's as easy as clicking on install. It will start that process of installing those apps onto your computer. And once you have installed them on your Microsoft Home button, you will find them listed under the Adobe, so under A, and here's where they, they'll all be listed right up top here. So as you can see, I've installed Premiere Pro, which is their video editing software, Photoshop, Character Animator, and then the Acrobat products. So again, <clears throat> a quick rundown of the products. Photoshop is for editing photos, graphics, and art. Illustrator, you can draw out graphics. InDesign is a design and publishing layout styles on a higher end. Lightroom is a cloud-based photo editing service. Premiere Pro is their uh, video editing. Adobe After Effects is again a standard uh, motion graphics and visual effects creator. Adobe Spark is a new product um, that we'll be featuring in a separate video. Adobe DC, that's your Adobe Pro, which is what the application that will help you convert PDF files to Word documents. All of these are part of the Adobe Cloud, so you have access to all of these. Recommendations would be to definitely put Acrobat DC on, install that onto your computer. Uh, that one will allow you to, again, convert Word PDFs to Word documents, which several teachers have asked about. So on a side note for that, <clears throat> most people have Acrobat Reader, which is just allows you to open PDF documents and read them. Some used to have the Adobe Acrobat Pro, which allowed you to do some conversions and check web accessibility for your documents that is essentially being replaced by that Adobe Acrobat DC 
which is also a pro version, which allows us to complete all PDF, merge PDFs, combine PDFs, and uh, convert. The cloud also basically stores documents and files and uploads. So when you are saving these documents, you can save them to your Adobe Creative Cloud account and then access them to add into email and other documents and resources. Some of you may have seen in your Outlook, if you're using Outlook, that on the top side now you get the your Adobe account where you can view files and settings. If you go to a new email, you can attach a file via, via the Adobe Document Cloud. So depending on where you have things stored, you can now access them through most of the Office 365 apps as well. So it's integrating multiple products together. There's also a learning tab where you can learn about any of the pro products that are on there. Video tutorials, documents, live web webinars on how to utilize those programs as well. That kind of is a quick tour of the Adobe Creative Cloud, how to sign into it, how to install programs, and then looking at definitely putting Acrobat DC on your computers, pub, or, or, or Photoshop has already been put onto your devices as well. If you have any other questions, feel free to let me know and we'll try to create more uh, videos for that. I will be in the comments of this video. I will kind of timestamp some of these things so you can jump around the video as you need for your own learning. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a good day and uh, catch us on another episode to learn more about the Adobe Spark program and what we can do with that. It's a great program for all students, but we definitely are doing a lot of work with it with our younger students.